Do microgreens really need nutrients? Well, stay tuned because in today's video, we're gonna talk about everything you need to know about microgreens and nutrients. Hello everyone, welcome back to another video with us. Um, I really wanted to kind of take the time to uh, just really discuss nutrients real quick with microgreens. Um, I've been seeing a lot of questions lately on a lot of Facebook forums and Reddit um, and so forth about whether or not microgreens need nutrients. Um, and long story short, um, microgreens do not need, that's the key word, need, N-E-E-D, they do not need nutrients, okay? Um, however, there are plenty of benefits um, of giving your microgreens certain nutrients, I guess you can say, right? Um, so just like a lot of you out there, um, I'm very, you know, the reason why I use Coco Coir, for instance, is because um, I want my crop to be as organic as possible, right? I don't wanna add anything to it um, that's not organic or natural, I guess you can say, which is why Coco Coir is my uh, medium of choice because it doesn't have nutrient centered, right? Such as like pro mixes and things like that, or, you know, soils, um, you know, that are just basically, um, you, you know, you, you, I've seen stuff that people were using like worm casings and, um, you know, just all kinds of stuff that's just kind of gross. You don't want to be growing microgreens and stuff like that, right? Um, I, that's why, again, I use Coco Coir because I can control what goes into it. Um, now, with nutrients, you know, obviously you don't want to be using like fertilizers. Um, you don't want to be using like, you know, um, you know, like miracle grows and, and things like that. Compounded, you know, chemicals and things like that that are mixed up um, into like a concoction and, and thrown into your uh, water, right? That's not something you ever want to be using with your microgreens. Okay, um, and I understand the reasons why behind that. I'm sure you understand the reasons why behind that. Um, but you want your crop to be as organic as possible, okay? But I will say this, okay? Ocean nutrients, you know how they make this stuff? They literally go directly to the ocean, okay? They filter out all the, the, the plankton and, and the algae and, and salt. Um, and then they basically, you know, scoop it up and um, they basically just take the minerals and, and nutrients right out of the ocean and they bottle it up, okay? Like, this isn't anything special that's concocted in some scientific lab, you know, with all kinds of additives being added. No, this is just taken directly from the ocean and put into a bottle, okay? So this is about as organic as you can get next to water, essentially, right? So, so I kind of want to put that out there, that there's a very big difference between using like an ocean nutrient versus something else. And the reason why I want to kind of distinguish the two is because, yes, microgreens do not need nutrients, okay? However, if you do give it to them, um, I can promise you you're going to have anywhere from 10 to 20% more yield in your crop. Well, I had somebody that was like, well, Pete, you know, I understand that, but I'll just grow my crops three days longer. Well, that doesn't make any sense <laughs> because, you know, in the grand scheme of things, when you're running a business, you know, the, the, the idea is to get the most amount of money in the shortest amount of time, right? Um, and I mean, it, it's the honest to God truth, right? And when I say that, so let's just say that I have an entire rack full of microgreens here, okay? And let's just say that I keep all of these greens in light for four days. Okay, so if I'm keeping these in light for four days and you're telling me that you're going to grow three days longer, which means that they're going to be in the light for three days more, you've just essentially turned this rack into a four-day rack into a seven-day rack. And all for what? It's not like you're adding something harmful. It's not like you're adding some kind of crazy chemical, right? And this is not an ad for an ocean nutrients. I'm just telling you the realities of, you know, I'm a numbers guy and, and, and understand, you know, the, the fastest way to, to make money with, you know, what you have and what you could possibly use, right? And so if, if you're doubling essentially your, your time under the light, well, that's less time that you can rotate more crops in. 
So you're saying that you want to want to almost double your grow time um, under the light um, for essentially saving what? This this is twenty five dollars. <laughs> okay, this gets me about five hundred gallons of water for for watering my crops. Okay, so break this down. I'm probably paying like five cents a tray after all said and done um, for for nutrients. Five cents. So. If I can cut my time under the light by three days by simply five cents per tray, on top of it, I'm adding you know that yield. I'm adding that ten to twenty percent yield. Um, it, it's it's a no brainer for me, right? Why would I not want to use ocean minerals for my microgreens? Um, it, that you know I'm just trying. I'm doing the numbers in my head, and so. Let's just say that I do broccoli and broccoli typically, you know, let's just say that I get like three and a half containers um, broccoli um, from like a 10 day grow and that's without ocean nutrients. I, let's say I get three and a half, two ounce containers. When I add ocean nutrients, I'm going from three and a half, ounce, uh, three and a half two ounce containers um, to four and a half, two ounce containers. Okay. Um, that's no joke. I'm, I'm literally getting um, with broccoli about a full two ounce container, which I charge six dollars for. Okay, so by simply adding a little bit of nutrients, I'm literally getting six dollars more worth of a, a container for worth of microgreens. Okay, now multiply that for a whole rack times twenty. Okay, and now I've, I'm essentially getting a hundred and twenty dollars more for an entire rack by just simply using you know, a smidge of this ocean nutrients for an entire rack for the whole week. Okay. So this $25 jug essentially netted me an extra $120 on my one week grow, you know? Um, so, I mean, it's kind of, you know, mind blowing how much money that you could really make by just simply adding a little bit of ocean nutrients. Right. Um, and so I kind of, I just wanted to kind of put that out there. Um, it's kind of a pet peeve of mine when I hear people talking about, I refuse to use nutrients. It's so like, well, like I understand you don't want to put chemicals in your, your microgreens, but last time I checked, you know, raw organic water from the ocean is not chemicals. <laughs> so, you know, that's just, you know, the way I look at things and it's okay if you don't agree with me, I'm just putting out there what I believe. Um, you know, what I've researched and, and things like that. So, um, you know, I'm sorry if I've offended you in any way. <laughs> I just really wanted to kind of go through and, and talk about a little bit. You know, it's, it's fun to kind of look at the numbers and that's something that I've always loved to do is, is really like, okay, if I buy this for X amount of dollars and then, you know, how much you know, more percentage of profit is going to net me, then, you know, what's that equate to in dollars? you know, and, and is it going to be worth it, you know, and, and so forth. And, um, no, absolutely. This is, this $25 jug will net you thousands of dollars in profit. That's no joke. Like, I don't know what else to say. This will net you thousands of dollars in profit if you use it. Um, so, um, the link is in below in the description box. If you do, um, you know, looking for what we use, um, Again, it's not a product advertisement. Um, you know, I'm not making any money recommending this or anything like that. I just, um, you know, I, I honestly believe in it. Um, and I, I feel like, I want to say you're stupid if you don't use it, but um, I would feel stupid um, if, if I wasn't using it, you know? So, um, but yeah, you know, I, I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, I'm going to be pushing out some more videos on a, a couple questions that I've been seeing a lot um, in the microgreen you know, in the forums and, and, and so forth out there um, that are kind of like, I see repeated all the time <laughs> and, and I keep repeating myself all the time. Um, so, but yeah, um, again, hit that subscribe button, hit that like button if you like this video. Um, if you have any questions, please leave them below in the comment box. Um, I'm usually pretty good about answering them. Um, but other than that, we'll see you next grow. Bye-bye. Hello everyone, Peter here from Princeton Microgreens. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, go ahead and hit that thumbs up button and subscribe. Also, if you have any ideas, suggestions, or questions, feel free to leave them below in the comment box. We'll see you soon. Bye-bye.